bunker. Bunker, 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 bunker,
Doing business with you. Hey, you're my best and only customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big popsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find popsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. Scott, 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 
The taste is a little off. I'm wondering how long those snacks were in there. Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. You got a point there. If I happen to see Wambus while I'm working, maybe we can catch up. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden that we got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trivi, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. Let's hope the cactus. What's it now? Nothing.
How's it going? Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Feet sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting the chill just thinking about it. You're getting the chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Lufty eats Grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true! Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. <laughs> Don't mess with my head, Beff. You're gonna scare me snackless. Oh, Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo?
Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarch? Oh, wham, this is just the title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, uh, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is right. It's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. No need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or Floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Bilbo first. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Ah, uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh well, let's get back and tell the others. Folks, I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the Desert Grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hey, buddy. Hello, Tiffany. Nice to see ya. Bestie! I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But, like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, Bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. How you doing? Um, darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? Nice to see ya. Oh, 
sure. Sounds like a real hoot. Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Oh, goodness, my name. I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there, try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Veronica Lottablog, an adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history, bless her heart. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Ramble's throat. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so, but the Lottablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello, darling.
How's it going? What's going on, Wiggle?
Sorry, Chandler, I am not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro. If you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! No! What? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlow! I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time.
Oh, it's you again. How's that sweet mountaineer treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Chandlo, then
Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but... Snorfy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I'm sure Snorfy may. my balls back that grapple thing is awesome I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff Snorpy's a genius bro check it out there's a cine snail right over there I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of cars but it's actually a master climber even I can't keep up with it I always wanted to climb like that hey see if you can catch me that cine snail bro
trap! Dog! I always wanted to climb like that. Yeah, I feel stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin.
Nice, you made it! You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more sinus snails around this mountain, dog.
talking about I can't wait to check my gains but before that I got a situation honeybees flew off with my backup balls now my balls are up in the sky no matter how shredded I get I can't fly believe me I've tried you gotta be my wings dog master that grabber catch me those honeybees Whoa! Hi. Yeah! Oh, bro. My body's tingling. I think that's the power. Bro, you really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Ah, 
One of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. Chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be cookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. Cookies. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Splendid! I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charm mallows. Can't ever have enough charm mallows. <laughs> the charm mallows give off an unusual signal. I believe they may be key to the Gormbanati surveillance system. Their signal should be safely contained inside my stomach.
With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. This guy seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Whoa. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro. If I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. No, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandlo.
Come on, Quibble. Don't be shy. Come on, come on. We go need some midnight snack. <gasps> Darling! What are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm just looking to spend some time with Gramble. Alone. Ciao, darling. But I gotta warn you.
OMG! Sounds like Wiggle has a nasty habit. <laughs> I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. In my old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wigglebottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know. And whoever else might be buying. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Aloha! Here it comes, the ballad of a generation. Bug snacks, bug snacks on the island in my mouth, so tasty. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. <sighs> Hi. Sup? Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? How? Jandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy. I'll get him there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like, they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. Couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh... That's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning, and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Bro, that's not... Just... Don't. Anyway. I recorded Egabel's progress when we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. Maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. Go on, Charwee. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. We're off 
to a bit of a slow start. It's so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwi the ropes. What do you say? Start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Nice night out. Nothing yet. I think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snake, like a spud? I got a plan. Nothing like a campfire. Hey there.
Ay, 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 ay. Sweet. These things better not melt off. Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. And so you know, Cromdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Okay. If you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Cromdom. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot, too hot. Oh, I don't know. Befica, to what do I owe the honor? Um, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you going to buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Whew, it's chilly tonight. Uh. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Rondo Face! You ever smell the future kid? Huh? I can tell you, this would stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead end job and followed that stench of possibility. I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Ate on commission, for Trump's sake. What do I think of? Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of money down, baby. Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbur didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethika planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I knew the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabelle her fix. The rest of us were just pfft, Disposal. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. Eh, I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that.
all going well? Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah. Can't say I miss that cave, but I do miss these. Thanks, bestie. Another fine day behind us. <sighs> Another fine day behind us.
break yet. Oh, that's hard oil, Meg. Who lit a fire under you? I just need to get strong enough to catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but you've been hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Aw, not you too. Oh, no. I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough for Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. And I will get you there. Thanks, Chamlo. And, uh... Ooh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. How's it going? How you doing? Hey there, Cromdo. What are you looking at? <coughs> hey. Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. <laughs>
Yeah. Psst. Hey, pal, I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffany found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it, and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. Yeah. I clearly said 50. Yeah. One, two, three! <laughs> That's enough, Chandlo. You're going to make your biceps explode. I'm not stopping, dog. I almost got it! <laughs> you know, I could just make a digging device. <sighs> That's not the point, bro. I can do this. If you insist, <laughs> I'll go ready some ice packs. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Of course I do, but at the same time, I don't want them finding me. <coughs> I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. But, well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Flufty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Lisbeth disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wit, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafit discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. <sighs> Something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Africa, Ramble, what happened? 
Oh, he saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... Oh, until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and, like, scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking into huts? Again? Uh, I've seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't. Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. You say that again. Oh, get off me. Stop. Whoa, hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind, yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? <laughs> Thank you. 
You found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Well, well, what did you find? Well, that's... Um, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm. Monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a water! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door? Or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the grump and our- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. <gasps> I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 you know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the Earth Creeks, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. Oh, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbeth was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. <laughs> don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbeth, all we have is you. That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbeth put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbeth, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. I guess you're not wrong. So, we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe? If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Sheldar, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbeth, we gotta find her. 
We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Okay. Great! Now, let's go get some sleep.